Hello everybody, in this craft I will be using this piece, um, wall decor from Dollar Tree. I removed these pieces, including the galvanized um, rooster. And to remove the top sheet, it is easier for me to just use a uh, piece of cloth. I just dip it in hot water and just wipe it onto the board. And it's easy for me to just scrape it off using the scraper that I bought from Dollar Tree. And I will do the same thing to this two pieces together and you can see it really is very easy and then i dried it after drying it i will just um trace this onto this uh sheet decorative sheet from hobby lobby and it is from paper studio and it is called tea uh tea stained tea stained leather so now i'm cutting it and just set it aside and uh, using this burnt umbra by apple barrel i will just brush the sides uh, just one coat with it because once i glue the the decorative sheet i don't want anything on this board will show so just to play safe so i just uh, painted the sides so once done i will use this mud podge i will apply one coat with this paint and once done, I am going to glue this piece. So I see to it that it's really uh, properly glued and then I'm going to sand the sides uh, using the sander from Amazon. So once done, you can see that I am rubbing this tea light and then um, Actually, you just skip this process because there was no need. I, I changed my mind, so it's easier for me to just do this. I uh, uh, just lightly brush it with a Waverly um, cashew. And then once dry, I rub this uh, Distress Oxide, the brown Distress Oxide that I bought from Hobby Lobby. I just rub it onto the board and look at the... the the finish it's really very nice and then i just lightly brush it with the sides a little on the front with the dark antique wax by bear that i bought from home depot and then with this piece i will have a different finish so i also painted this with the burnt umber by apple barrel the the front and the sides and once uh, it is uh dry I will apply this uh, white glue from Dollar Tree. So I am going to have a crackle finish on this. But what I'm doing right now is I have a different direction of how I applied the, the glue because I want uh, a different direction of the crackle as well. So I'm using this um, Waverly Sunstone and just applying uh, just one coat with this paint uh, using... Uh, a chip brush and then I'm drying it now and you, you can see it has a different direction of the crackle and I love it so it is optional it's all up to you whatever direction of crackle that you like you can have both with just one direction it's all up to you I am just uh, comfortable doing it you know because uh, I want a different finish and then to make this look distressed and um, old I am using again the dark antique wax by bear and I just lightly brush it onto there using an eyeshadow brush and it really looks awesome i just love it it looks so vintage and on the back of this i have uh four tumbling blocks that i painted actually with the burnt umber by apple barrel and i will just glue it the two of uh, them on both sides so uh uh, the reason why I, I'm doing it is because I want this raised a little bit because I want this look like a planter. So now I'm going to glue it onto the board. And the other piece as well, I just uh, use these uh, tumbling blocks because I got I ran out of the wood cubes. So I just use the tumbling blocks anyway. It doesn't show. So... I glued it there and then I will glue it onto the board. So I just have it raised a little bit so it looks even. And this time I will have this showing on the video. I am cutting this um, paper bag. 
and with this um, I will use wet wipes I'm going to dip it in the water and then um, just wipe it onto the paper bag and I'm going to crumple it and once crumpled I will paint it with a Waverly Crimson and before I painted it with this uh, I just uh, put a drop of a, a drop of uh, black chalk paint so it will make the Waverly Crimson a little darker in color and I'm after I dried it I just crumpled it again and then using this brown distress oxide I just rub it onto the paper bag and I could see the design it's really very nice and then I just twisted it I folded it first so that the the part that is not painted will not show and then I twisted it and I have this uh, twine um, wired twine uh, jute twine from uh, Hobby Lobby and I really love this because it's a little stiff I, I like it I was thinking of using the uh, wired jute twine from Dollar Tree but it's kind of very um, it's a little soft it's bent it bends so quick so since I am going to make it as like, uh, use it as like a stem, so I use this. But again, this is optional. You can use the wire jute twine from Dollar Tree. Anyway, uh, I'm going to glue it onto the board. So I've made a little bigger of the, the rows and two small ones. And uh, I have this cardboard uh, corrugated cardboard I already just this is a cardboard I just removed the top sheet to show the corrugated part and then I just form um, uh, leaves there and I'm going to just paint it with a Waverly moss and once painted I am going to dry it and once dry I will just uh, lightly brush it with a dark antique wax by bear and this time I will just cut uh, small pieces of this uh, floral foam and I'm going to just tuck it in on that uh, area there so it will be easy for me to arrange the artificial flowers so this is what I meant uh, it doesn't have to be the jute twine from uh, Hobby Lobby uh, if you like to make this kind of craft you can just use the jute twine wired, I'm sorry wired jute twine from Dollar Tree anyway you are going to just glue it uh, on the board. So it really looks so neat. And I love the three roses there. So I put these uh, leaves. You know, um, it really looks so awesome. And then I just arrange a little of Sweet Annie there and some uh, baby's breath uh, flowers. So it really is all up to you if what you have available on your end, what kind of artificial leaves you're going to put there. I'm just showing you that with just one piece of this craft, um, this decor from Dollar Tree, I came up with this kind of craft. So I just have these uh, scrabble letters. I sanded the numbers because I don't want the numbers to show. And I just put the word blooms and then now I'm making a very simple bow using some laces and some uh, cheesecloth and once I'm happy with how it turned out I'm going to just tie it with a jute twine and then glue it there and then put a button and now I will just make this handle uh, the lace to be the handle so if you like to see more of my craft ideas please go to my main page please click like please give me a follow so you'll be notified whenever I go live and you will uh, be updated of my future craft. So this is the craft, everybody. Look at the roses and I just love it. I hope you love this craft and I hope you love watching this video, everybody. Thank you all so much and till next time.